everybody. Blessings to you today. It's just, it's really a beautiful day. Today is the 23rd, I believe. I want to get that right, but I think it is the 23rd of September. Uh, I love September. I really do. I mean, being someone from uh, Georgia, and I've lived here a long time, I have to say that September always uh, just brought with this, this the, with it this feeling of like refreshment and um, just there is the crisp you know breeze and the leaves and the colors and it's just I don't know just the palette of colors too is just pretty orange and the reds yellows just kind of like a fiery uh, colors of, of fire um, but there is just a refinement there and, and I love it I just love the the color of the leaves changing and maybe that's it you know there's it's change it's showing that we're gonna be going into a new season and I believe that is prophetically uh, happening to you know whatever is happening in the natural is happening supernaturally too so I really feel like there is a shift that is going on and there is a new season for many of uh, God's children as well um, for the body uh, you know so many things are needing to be uh, refined and there is like a uh, refining process going on and I know sometimes it can be really hard when you're going through that you know, when the Lord is burning things away He's peeling things off and he's trying to bring out the gold, um, shine up the diamond, and, and the refining process can be hard. I mean, I have found it to be sometimes painful because there's parts of my heart that have to be dealt with uh, in order for me to speak the word from a place of pureness, not uh, woundedness or brokenness. And so I just want to encourage you if that is you, you know, and you too might be almost feeling um, stuck you know, that word or um, like you're hitting a wall no matter what you're doing uh, you just can't seem to break free I just want to encourage you you're not alone um, there are many people that are going through this that exact thing and just to put your hope in Jesus um, not in um, to, to not necessarily look at what's going on in front of you and think that's reality or that is, this is it. Um, how much longer do I have to endure this? Um, you don't sit in that for too long. You choose to get out of that seat and go higher. Uh, and what I'm hearing right now too is, you know, we're seated in heavenly places. So sometimes we have to get back up in that seat. Um, we can get sucked into the circumstance and then that becomes our reality and we can kind of get pulled into it, um, even dig a pit uh, or resuscitate our old self. Um, and I really feel the Lord say, you know, come back up, come back up and come back and sit in the, your heavenly seat and get a different perspective because sometimes all we need is a different perspective and to see um, what God is doing or to see it from his perspective not our own because if we're looking from a lens of rejection we're going to see rejection if we're looking from a lens of sadness we're going to see sadness if we're looking from a lens of defeatedness we're going to feel defeated so I think it's important to change our perspective to get back up into our heavenly seat um, to recognize he is the father that changes he is a God that loves seasons and loves changing and loves refinement um, will allow him to challenge you in this season to do something different um, to even if it is just to see things differently and see 
um, what he's trying what he's trying to do within your heart because he's gonna see your heart even differently and he's going to then do what's necessary to produce that of what which he sees not necessarily what we see because we cannot see as he sees so that's where the surrender comes in just like the leaves surrender to the change um, you know the atmosphere the the um, just the way that our weather systems are and the Sun and what the Sun does all of it surrenders to him and submits to him and so he knows what's going on he knows the plans and they are good you know Jeremiah Jeremiah 29 11 they're to bring a future and a hope so even in this process of refining uh, refinement of your heart uh, or your mind or your spirit your soul your emotions all of this comes into play and you might even be experiencing some loss in this process in the season just just trust him lean on him and it says in um, in one of my favorites um, and that I have to do every day you know Proverbs 3 5 through 6 I lean not on my own understanding I trust in him I trust in the Lord with all my heart so even that sometimes we have to say okay let my whole heart engage in trusting him and if there is an area of my heart that is um, resisting trusting due to a childhood womb wound oh said womb there mm, gotta look at that too could even happen in the womb because you know trust comes first um, with a an infant is you know between the time they're born through uh, nine months is in the first nine months of your life is when that um, developmental stage is happening and that's just trust and mistrust so where have I not learned to trust um, would be back then and that's where it might have originated and the seed of mistrust could have come in and that will stay in your heart because it's just something that has always been there so you got to go and say okay Lord even in those little secret places of my heart where I learned that um, I couldn't trust um, people I ask that you would breathe life into that area and remove that seed that lying seed um, and replace it with the one that I know that I can trust you and that that area of my heart can um, be healed and then completely trust you and just sometimes you have to go back and and forth and go to those different areas if you feel like they're still you, know, you could search my heart Lord I love that part search my heart Search my heart and show me what area is not lining up um, and fully trusting. Is not lining up with what you say and is not fully trusting in, in what you do and who you are. Because God is a God of love. So any place that we even have fear in our heart, we're not comfortable with his love. And so we want, it's, it's so important that all of our heart our spirit our mind is in tuned with him and we don't want anything getting in the way of that and sometimes those areas of fear uh, or mistrust can get and that's fear when you don't trust it's still fear um, worry that's fear questioning things that's all fear uh, that is an area that can hinder and um, cause some resistance in your heart being able to be fully engaged with the Father and fully engaged with Jesus and Holy Spirit and fully I mean all of it every part of your heart and there's not an area of your heart um, that is resisting so see it almost as putty and the Lord holding it and being able just to do whatever he wants to it I see even like silly putty back in the day for those who and the comic strips and you'd like you know could get the imprint of the comic strip in your putty <laughs> I don't know for those who shows my age um, but that's you know be able to have the Lord have your heart and so that you then your heart reflects his and whatever he does with it even you know seeing the Word of God just being able to be printed into your heart um, just like the silly putty in it he's going to be able to just print his words um, that he spoke out about you before you were even in your mother's womb Jeremiah 1 5 I knew you before you were in your mother's womb 
um, and just that those are going to be imprinted and so we don't want anything getting in the way of not allowing that to happen and so that's um, allow the change allow the process of the change press in um, trust him in the process trust him in this process of whatever it may be because he knows the outcome and it's going to be good and it's going to bring a future and a hope um, trust him in the change all right guys Love you. God bless.